The Adventures of Kian and Elkana, Volume 2, Part 1, The First Power. Story by Tita Tyne, illustration using Canva. Kian and Elkana embarked on a courageous journey from Mount Arayat to a new land, guided by a magical book that pointed them towards Master Kiro's location. The brothers seek Bathala's guidance and protection on their journey, day and night. While they miss their family dearly, Kian offers words of comfort to Elkana, reminding him to be strong. With a long road ahead of them, before they can be reunited with their loved ones, they know it's essential to find Master Kiro. He will help them understand the book and their powers, and assist in locating their family. During a restful night in the forest of Bulacan, Elkana sensed a watchful presence. The sibling hold the book in high regard as it guides and safeguards them. After their prayer, a page of the book revealed a cryptic message. Despite their confusion, they hope to gain the book's wisdom and understanding. From a distance, a creature was watching over them. Elkanah's intuition was right. As Kian slept soundly, the monster waited patiently, then silently placed Elkanah in a sack and quickly fled the scene. When Elkana woke up, he found himself trapped inside a sack and cried out for help while attempting to break free. In his exhaustion from crying and struggling, Elkana prayed, God, please protect me. Please help my brother find me. Good thing he remembered what was written in the book. He shouted, Panalipod! Pag-aga! Suddenly, his hands lit up. Glowing butterflies appeared inside and outside the sack. Please like and subscribe for Volume 2, Part 2 of The Adventures of Kian and Elkana, The First Power.